let us continue with dynamo db primary key how primary key can be created what is primary key what constitutes primary key what should be the best practices which should be followed while selecting the primary key values or attributes so dynamo db can have two kind of primary keys one is a combination of partition key and sort key for example in a table we have two fields course id and class id right in that case we can have course id as partition key and class id as a sort key or for example in the patient table it could be patient id and hospital id or hospital id could be partition key and patient id could be the sort key and basically the idea is this primary key should uniquely identify each row of the table that is the whole idea in case you can have partition key only which can uniquely identify the records in that table then also it is fine sort key is kind of range based upon this partition key so one person can have multiple type of data right so then in that case sort key could be related to that partition key i will show you with an example also so here like partition key is a customer id attribute is a customer id this can also be represented in the partition key sort key form for example customer id and order id right one customer can have multiple orders so in that case customer id can be partition key and order id can be this sort key for now you can think of primary key as an attribute or a group of attribute which uniquely identifies the records in a table primary key is a must in the table please note that no two records items rows can have the same partition key value if there is no sort key that is what i have described in the previous slide also that it is must as well as it should uniquely identify in case there is no sort key then two records cannot have the same primary key and partition key how partition key is created it is like this partition key for example customer id or something like the student id university id course id right or phone number whatever partition key you use that will go through dynamo db hash function which is internal to dynamo db and it outputs a partition for physical location of that item so please note that there will be a separate partition created based upon your partition key the selected partition key right and all the values which are there in sort key right that will reside in the same partition key this will lead to high performing reads and write operations because read will target only one selected partition key and in sort key the values are stored as sorted order so partition key and sort key it is a composite primary key it consists of two attributes that is partition key and sort key it is the repetition of the previous slide itself all items with the same partition key value are stored together in sorted order by sort key value partition key also known as hash attribute because it is passing through this hash function and sort key also known as range attribute right so range attribute means that it is sorted so it could be let us say orders from the month of january to december 22 right so same way 
in the last year or it could be order id or it could be some range right now best practices select the partition key with high cardinality which should have the key which has many unique values different use cases may have different partitions key with lower or high cardinality but you will have to select the high cardinality for example uh, if we take state the name of a state right it is having lesser cardinality if we take user email that is having high cardinality because each user will be having unique email id or phone number can also be there right if you take name that will not be that unique right so many unique values you should think of as high as possible or you can try to create a, a key with high cardinality examples are user id course id email username etc avoid keys like status category country state city etc in case of lack of high cardinality add some random values as suffix to the field with high cardinality among those fields let me show you how to create a partition key or primary key in nosql workbench as well as aws dynamodb console first let me show you in nosql workbench so i have clicked on data modeler selecting existing data model which we created in last video then or you can create a new one also from here and then create plus here and let us see now create staff table name and then staff id now if you see here it is in string number binary this accepts value in this format and as i mentioned you can create a sort key also it is fine if you want to keep without sort key also but if staff id is going to have multiple values for some other entity then you can do that like i want to have or you want to query based upon combination right then you can say campus id also that this staff id belongs to which campus of this university it could be some other location also or i can say that location right and then add another attributes so these attributes are not necessary i can say that date of birth again data types string number binary string set don't worry about these data types for now just focus on how can you make your database table as efficient as possible how can you uniquely identify records that attribute you have to use either one attribute or combination of that attribute which we can call as a composite primary key so partition key and sort key it is fine if i don't select it right i click on add table definition so i can click here add table definition and this is created right now if i go to aws dynamo console same thing exactly similar thing you will find there university partition key let us say staff id it says sort key optional let us keep the sort key here and data type again exactly similar what we saw in nosql workbench create table we will get a message that table is being created i hope with this you have got a fair idea about dynamodb primary key that how can you create a primary key from nosql workbench and or aws dynamodb console as well same thing you can do with aws cli also as we saw in other videos please don't worry about the things which you are not getting in these videos because all these concepts i am going to cover in my future videos so you will be a dynamo db expert pretty soon if you watch my all the videos you will be a dynamo db expert i will see you in next video where i am going to cover indexes 
what are indexes in DynamoDB, how can these be used, how many types of indexes are there in DynamoDB, right, which one you should use, which type of index will impact overall cost of the table, storage of the table, how indexes are stored. That is all I am going to cover in my next video on indexes. So thank you so much for uh, staying with me so far in this video. I hope this topic has added to your knowledge base and you will share your feedback in the comment section of this video. Thank you so much. Love you all.